So I've been uh, trying to get this video out to you guys about our uh, our cows, but the weather wasn't pretty. Um, the last week we've had uh, some storms out here, and the the weather dropped below freezing. Uh, it, it iced over for for a couple of days, and uh, it just wasn't it wasn't fun at all. But today is a beautiful day. I uh, came uh, from work, went to the feed store, and said, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and shoot this video and uh, let people know about our cows. So guys, um, we have uh, we have jerseys. Uh, we have dairy cows, that's, uh, that's what they are. And uh, the, the jersey breed, uh, it's, a, it's a British breed. Uh, it is one of three uh, that came out from, from Britain. Let's introduce you to our cows. So we have uh, all of them up at the front right now. So we got one bull out here. He is uh, gonna be ready to go get processed. So there we go. Let's start off right here on the on the right side. We have Rose, Jersey cow, a little on the big side, and then we have Stu, the bull, who is a Holstein. We got him a while back. Uh, he was a freebie. Actually, all our cows were given to us. Now, that guy is, like I said, he's getting ready to get processed. He'll be stew. <laughs> that one right there is Butter. She is uh, the granddaughter of Rose. And then here are my favorite ones right here. We have Holly on the right side. And then we have Honey on the left side. That's a mom and daughter right there. Holly's dad was actually uh, a straw that <laughs> we took Honey to get bread. She was AI'd. And this is, where, this is the reason why we love these guys. Uh, the Jersey cow dairy breed but they're very very gentle they love scratches they're naughty but I think every cow can be when they're younger as they get older they settled in they settle down honey was uh, the first cow that my wife milked we had a previous cow that didn't go so well, but Honey is an amazing cow. And uh, we hope that we can get her bred again, although I think she might be bred to that guy. And if she is, then we'll hopefully sell it because uh, we don't need any more cows. We have our future milk cow right here we got Rose that we want to keep and then Posey who is by, back there behind my wife Posey is Rose's daughter who is mama to butter so we get butter from Posey I know it's a little complicated but if, if I sit here and draw it out for you, we can make it work. So Posey, back there, is Rose's daughter. And Butter is Posey's daughter. There. All right. It's worked out. So why do we choose to raise the Jersey cow? First of all, temperament. We love those guys and they love us. Second of all, although it's a smaller breed, they have more than enough milk for a homestead. We get anywhere from three to five gallons. Now, that would be from Rose. Honey's a little bit of a lower producer. So we get anywhere from one and a half to about three on a good day. But the difference between your Jersey milk 
from a lot of the other milks out there is it's rich with butter fat um, and the milk itself is uh, it's got a lot of protein in it there's a lot of protein in this particular milk and it's uh, it's got a lot of uh, flexibility to it um, that cream that you get from these ladies you can make a lot of butter and a lot of cheese and we love both so yeah they're not as high producers as your Holsteins but truthfully we're not a business and for the small homestead that we have is it's, it's more than enough guys and um, the milk that we don't use we can always give it to the pigs give it to the chickens and by, by that I mean we ferment or I'm sorry we can ferment the feed and we're we're wanting to do that by the way um, so we've been here for two and a half years going on three July 4th will be our third year here and guys um, we're learning we we actually got all the animals and we did everything that we could or or everything that was available for us at that time and then we were learning with them we're learning how to grow this year hopefully will be the first successful year um, to do our garden so these Jersey cows are they're considered to be on the smaller side of a dairy cow you know they do get to 800 900 pounds when they're fully grown now Holly her dad was uh, was a lot smaller so she's not gonna be you know 800 900 pounds she's probably gonna be about 700 if that when she's fully grown so she she was born in, in October of uh, 21 so she's getting up there and ready to be bred if she's not already bred again the goal is for us to have those three girls uh, Rose is a little bit older lady we don't know exactly how much we can get I mean as far as getting any more breeds from her um, but Holly and Rose are definitely going to be our our milk girls uh, Posey she's uh, not a full blood Jersey she is a uh, half Jersey half beef so uh, butter we think is a uh, cross with a Dexter um, so she's got a little bit of Jersey in her and she's definitely gonna stay on the smaller side but our property is not that big to maintain everybody here so uh, decisions have to be made now honey and Rose are our keepers I mean they were they were a gift and so was Posey but that we cannot get rid of those guys I mean they're just gonna be retired here um, but anybody that any of the breeds that we get from them any babies you know either we pass on to somebody else as a good breeding stock because they do have good quality I mean you guys see it and and Holly she's got good teats um, and uh, she is perfect for a small homestead so there it is guys I mean uh, the milk quality that you get the temperament and it's not the largest animal out there so pound for pound in my opinion you know jerseys are are the way to go now again if you uh if you want the bigger ones go for it that's just here with us so there it is guys just showing you a little bit from our cows and uh a little bit of why we wanted to raise these jerseys